ain't out here to be trying to preach to y'all and tell y'all to stop doing this and stop doing that. Man, y'all are all old enough to know right from wrong, right? And I went up to the, the number one hip-hop radio station called K104 in Dallas, Texas, and I applied for a job. They told me, nothing's available. We have nothing available for you. So I kept checking back every two weeks. They kept telling me, we don't have nothing for you. I said, okay, I'll tell you what, let me work for free. They was like, for free? I said, yeah, you don't have to pay me. So they allowed me to come up to that building and just hang out. And anything that they needed done, I did. I was in the promotions department, I was in the programming department, I was in the engineering department, I was in every corner of that building just learning a little bit about everything. They sent me out with the street team. I'm out working eight, 10 hours a day in the streets, in the community, not getting paid at all. My first year in radio, I did not get paid. When a position finally became available, guess who was at the top of that list to get hired? Rock T. That's how I became Rock, Rock T. Say whatever you want to say about Rock T. When I leave this place, I'm responsible for me. Just like you guys are responsible for yourselves. So you can't blame where you're from. You can't blame the hood, the ghetto, the projects, my mama in jail or on drugs, my daddy in jail or on drugs or whatever. You can't blame that, especially now because y'all are old enough to know right from wrong, good from bad, yes or no. We all have choice. living testimony. And I guarantee you, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. It's simple. If you keep doing bad stuff, you're going to get bad stuff every single time. I don't care how you try to remix it. But if you switch that energy into positive energy and you believe in yourself and you set goals for yourself, I guarantee you 100% everything solid and successful is going to happen to you no matter what you do in life. You got to refuse to lose. My, my motto in life is no excuses, get it done. Stop making excuses about your circumstances and just figure out a way to get it done. In high school, I couldn't stand reading a book. Read a book? Especially if you didn't have no pictures. I couldn't stand reading a book, but I finally had to realize, man, I got to start reading. And whatever I want to do, I learn everything about that. Man, there's so many things. I got goals that, that shoot up to the moon, but I can't jump from here to the moon in one bound. I got to take, I got to set one big goal and then a whole bunch of little goals. And as soon as I achieve this first goal, bam, I feel good about myself. Okay, I did it. I did it. Now what's my next goal? Y'all are positive young men and women that just needs an opportunity. Well, the opportunity is here. So now, like I told you, no more excuses from this point on. I heard y'all was on 106 Apart. Off the chain. See, y'all prove that y'all can leave here, go to a whole other city, get on TV, and behave, and be respectful, and have fun at the same time. Y'all just prove that y'all ain't animals. So now you take that and use it as a stepping stone and keep building on it. What you see is what you get. Sneakers, jeans, t-shirt, hat to the back, that's Rock T. Not trying to be all, uh, you know, too cool, that's just me. But there's a point in time when I have to put on some slacks. I gotta put on a suit and tie. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta put my clothes on right and straight if I want people to take me serious when I'm doing business. All right, cause at the end of the day, remember, you can't blame nobody else but yourself. You can't go to a job interview sagging and then mad because they don't hire, hire you, you cussing them out. You know what I'm saying? Cut your hair. Put on some nice clothes. Put on some smell good. Walk into that doggone building with confidence. Yes sir. No sir. Yes ma'am. No ma'am. Shake the hand firm. Just small little things that we all know how to do it. Talk right. Open your mouth and talk. Don't hold your hair down. Don't be mumbling like you. You know what I'm saying? Open your mouth and talk. We all know English. Little things like that. KP Scholar's gonna help get you there, man. I'm telling you. Open your eyes once you hear me out. Let's see what life can do. Let's see what life can do. Open your ears, open your eyes. Let's see what life can do. Kinetic. Potential. Kinetic. Potential. Kinetic. Potential. Kinetic. Now, what y'all wanna do? I just want to be successful. A little more swag in the shower. Wanna be ballers? Big fame, big chain. Jack Callers. Maybe an actress. A doctor. The architect. Nothing comes easy. It takes much practice. Like, 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 like,
can't see the Visualize wealth You can conceive it, see it, see it But our kids can't all aspire to be LeBron or Lil Wayne I want them aspiring to be scientists and engineers Doctors and teachers Not just ballers and rappers I want them aspiring to be a Supreme Court Justice I want them aspiring to be the President of the United States of America Potential, can, can, can that potential? Alright, now what's up, Rossi here with Miss Woodhouse with Excel Academy out here in B-Boy, Baltimore, Maryland. Y'all seen what we just did with these kids. Keep hope alive. It's not over. Just believe in our kids and don't give up. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. She tired right now. She been dead. She been out there dropping it with her mama's <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell nobody, but Miss Woodhouse was dropping it all. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What do you want to be when you grow up?